welcome to another episode of Concrete Reality TV, where this episode is actually going to focus on our family. So it's a series that we're starting off um, beginning uh, with our mother, Ivory, Jewel Edwards, and this uh, series is called Family Ties. So we're going to be going through our family members, starting at the eldest, the wisest, the most beautiful, and going down the chain. <laughs> <laughs> through the uh family tree and then uh you know we'll just uh we'll start posting these uh for other family members to see and check out and kind of it'll be a chronology for everyone to uh to be able to keep on record so um i guess we'll just start with with uh the voice christopher cool cutter um you want to start this up with this with this interview for our mother yeah i'll take a take the lead. <laughs> Welcome everybody to Concrete Reality TV. Like once again, he says it's our first episode of Family Ties, volume one, mm -hmm. starting with our mother, Ivory Edwards. Yep. Uh, so we're going to start fresh. Let's start with where you were born and raised. Where I was born and raised, I was yeah. born here in Houston, Texas. H-Town. Um, yeah. Big H town is where I was born. <laughs> and what year? What year were you born? 1952, January the on the 19th. January 19, 1952. What is um, your first memory of the year that that you were born? Even if you have to dig in the past, you don't have to remember. But what is your first memory of the year you were born? Of uh, don't really have any memories of it, uh, except my mother telling me that I was born at home in, in the bathroom. Oh, wow. And so she wasn't able to get to the hospital in time, and I was born at home. Mm, and, that's interesting. Something we didn't know. <laughs> so, uh, and y'all were living in Third Ward at this time? We, I don't know. I don't think it was called Third Ward. I think it was First Ward. Okay. I cannot remember the street. I know we lived in an apartment. Um, okay. Yeah, I do. I do recall that. Um, hmm. That was Marion and Sandra, hmm. and they were sort of there when Mama gave birth to me. As kids, as children, yeah. as well. As children, yeah. So you uh, you mentioned uh, your these are your sisters. Uh, of course, mm -hmm. we know that, but our viewing audience may not know uh, your. Older sisters, Marion Edwards and Sandra Edwards. Yes, and those two of them passed away since. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Rest in peace yeah. to uh, Marion and Sandra Edwards. Mm -hmm. um, my old, eldest aunties, my mom's sis, eldest sisters. What kind of relationship do you remember starting off with your with your mom? With uh, Miss Miss Helen Edwards, were y'all pretty close or pretty tight? Was she st super strict? No, I don't believe she was super strict. I I really don't recall. Um, my mom, she was she was Helen. She was Miss Helen. Uh, she took care of her children. Hmm. Uh, those who came along the way, she took care of them as well. But uh, I don't recall a whole lot about my mother back, you know, then, mm -hmm. uh, except the children, you know, coming. Um, I can't even remember. Um, well, she she did allow us to, to play a lot. Huh. Uh, we were able to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, so we played uh, and uh, she was, uh, she, she made sure that we were clean. We had uh, food in the house. Mm. And our father, who was Leroy Edwards, uh, he worked. Uh, he was a chef in a uh, hotel. They called it Sheridan Lincoln. It was downtown. Mm -hmm. And during that time, we were able to walk downtown. So it, everything was close together then before they started building all the different freeways and whatever. Mm -hmm. um, but I remember my mother walking me to school uh, before they built the freeway. So we could, you know, she took me across the street to the school. And, and uh, but she she was a caring mother. Uh, like I said, she took care of her children, mm -hmm. made sure that we were fed. And, and uh, I, I remember her laughing, you know. Um, mm. So but, was she uh, like a jokester? 
Or did she, she, uh... she wasn't a jokester, but like I say, she she knew the lab. Mm -hmm. And um, as far as the, the people who are, she was around. She was, um, uh, she was she was neighborly. She was friendly. Mm -hmm. uh, and well, back in the day, you know, everybody was friendly then. Mm -hmm. So everybody watched over everybody back then. So so you grew up in a would you say a um, all black neighborhood? Was it mixed or was it all considered all black? It was. It was considered black, but you know, the, the stores that they had on the corners, they were either owned by Chinese or uh, uh, Caucasian. Mm -hmm. uh, we used to play with the, uh, the Caucasian ch uh, children. Uh, his name was, well, uh, his dad owned the store, they called him Lil Lukey. Mm -hmm. We used to play with him, little white boy. Oh, okay. Uh -huh, so. so did you, I mean, we know that you were born in the years of, it was still sorter, uh, I, from what I know about history, uh, people still had um, racism in their hearts. Did y'all have to encounter any of that growing mm. up? No, we never encountered anything like that. Mm. Hmm. Interesting. Never. We were we were fairly sheltered. Like I said, it was it was the neighborhood. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, neighbors watched over other um, uh, you know neighbors' children. Mm -hmm. Uh, so if anything went wrong, you know, it, uh, and sometimes when we did do a little moving, we did move around uh, from first ward to, and then they had third ward. Mm -hmm. So we moved uh, from first ward to third ward. Mama, like I said, she had more children. Mm -hmm. And, uh, but, uh, you know, if anything went, went wrong, somebody would call mama, she would be at work and someone would call her and, you know, let them know where well, your children are places they don't need to be. <laughs> On my way, oh yes, Kato Land. On my way. Oh, okay. That's a nice way of putting it. Exactly. <laughs> you had mentioned, um, so mama was, you know, uh, working a lot and um, neighbors were watching, keeping out. What about uh, dad? Your uh, dad, where was he at during this time? Uh, our, our dad, uh, Leroy Edwards, he um, he did work uh, when we were, were first born, but um, uh, after we started moving, I think we moved to, um, I can't remember, it might have been Samson, I think it was Samson Street in Third Ward. Third Ward. Yeah. And, but, my, um, but my dad, he was an alcoholic, mm -hmm. so he drank the whole lot, and then mama, she just, she got tired of him. And the day I came home from school, I think I was 10 years old. Hmm. And he, she had put his things on the porch, on the front porch. Oh, wow. And told him he couldn't not to come back. Hmm. So, uh, but he did, he cooked. Um, he did cook when he was, you know, there. Uh, but, but basically he drank uh, way too much. Hmm. And uh, so mom got tired and she just put him out. Wow. So after that, we didn't see him anymore after that. Man. So he, uh, was he an abusive father? Or what do you remember about his personality? Was no, he... he was never abusive. Um, when he was there, you hardly ever knew he was there because, well, like I say, he was, he drank so, but he, he, uh, he was not loud or anything. Uh, he used to have, uh, as they call him DTs, he would see things because he drank so, so much. Mm -hmm. And he had, uh, we would find liquor bottles everywhere because dad was uh, alcoholic. Mm -hmm. And um, like I say, I didn't, I hadn't seen him. We didn't, we didn't see him after mom put him out until he passed away when I was 25. Mm -hmm. and that's so when... so um, a question about um, Leroy Edwards. Um, was he a, ever in the military or what, what is, what about he his was uh, in past? The army. He was in the he, army. Uh, yeah, I think he was a cook in the army. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So military, he was a veteran. Yeah, and, he was uh, a veteran. So life took its toll on him, and he yeah, ended up did. taking it out on the uh, on the alcohol. alcohol. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when y'all moved to Third Ward, you uh, almost I know because I'm your son, and mm -hmm. <laughs> we're from your son. Other siblings came. Mm -hmm. um, so how was it after y'all moved to Third Ward and the other siblings began to come about? Well, uh, 
mom had, uh, she had a relationship with this gentleman. Um, and after she began having a relationship, she began having more babies. Mm -hmm. uh, so and what was his name? Him, uh, Freddie Wally. Mm -hmm. Okay. So he was a married gentleman. And so mama, she, he was a cab driver. Mm. And uh, like I said, mama had this relationship with him and she began to have more children. And so, from from that relationship came who? Um, from that relationship came um, uh, Freddie Clay, mm -hmm. Kenneth, Dion, Carmen, and Porsche. Mm. Mm. So before then, it was uh, Marion Edwards, the mm -hmm. eldest sister, Sandra. Yeah. Um, Leroy, me, Leroy and Jr. And, uh, James and, Dean. Oh, okay. And you and Barbara. Uh, yeah, Barbara. Barbara. Mm -hmm. Okay. So they're all um, through mom, uh, mama, or rather your mama, Helen mm -hmm. Edwards, and uh, Leroy. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And Freddie Wiley's children. From Freddie Clay. Mm -hmm. so Clay. Or Shane Kenneth. Mm -hmm. The John twins. And, Carmen. and the babies. Okay, mm -hmm. so all of these children, <laughs> man, how yeah. was that household? It was uh, it was interesting, um, but uh, it, you couldn't really tell. It was still a lot of us, but you really could. It wasn't anything that we say was a crowded place mm -hmm. because uh, everything was in order. Mm -hmm. Mama was the type type of mom; everything had to be clean and in order, and that's what we basically did. So you really couldn't tell there was a whole lot of children in the house because everything was basically in order mm. and clean. <laughs> <laughs>